again right here from the NAM show 2019. Got uh, two very exciting companies here with us. Uh, I've got uh, Richard Smith from Sam Systems. Uh, Going to talk about the uh, the integral uh, mic system today with us, and we got Woody uh, here from Hermit Cabs. Going to talk. We got an artist back there in the back. We got Lars hanging out. We're going to have a party here at Nam. So uh, why, let's get things going. Uh, let's talk. So Richard, you um, have a very innovative uh, design for a microphone, and uh, why don't you tell us all about what that is with the integral? Okay, we'll do that straight away. Okay. Um, yeah, basically, uh, when you close mic a, um, an amplifier cab, you'll have a microphone on a stand in front of the speaker. That's fraught with all sorts of issues, overspill, uh, trying to find the sweet spot takes forever when you're doing a sound check. Sure. And, uh, you know, and two seconds to, to ruin it <laughs> once, once the gig <laughs> starts. Um, even down to, like, in some of the smaller gigs, at the end of the gig, the, the old microphone gets stolen. So you then got the cost of replacing it and so on and so forth. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so well, what we come up with is uh, a system where um, we've done away with all of that. And um, I don't know if you can see the picture on the front of the box, but that's the gist of it. And we come up with a microphone system which actually sits right in front of the speaker. And you could probably see, if I can get this high enough, around there is all the, the holes which are the fixing and they match each of the speaker fixings. Very and cool. the whole thing's only like about three millimeters thick, so basically what you do is you undo those bolts, take the speaker off, put this in place, put the speaker back, and it's permanently in the right place every gig. So what you're saying is this is not a steering wheel from a BMW? No, no this is Frisbee. <laughs> Very, very cool. So it's, a, it's, I mean, a very innovative design. So basically, instead of putting the microphone, um, you know, in front of the cabinet that has all those problems, you're able to install it inside the cabinet inside, yeah. and then yeah. kind of permanently have it there. And you've got yeah. Woody here with yeah. Hermit Cab, and, and they're going to be able to show you an, exa an uh, example of kind of what that bad boy looks like uh, once it gets installed. Mm -hmm. We can kind of see that now. Look at that. And typically, it would be installed in front of the speaker against the baffle, but in this case, this allows you to put it in front of the speaker itself. A quick install, but once it's in there, you just leave it in there. Mm -hmm. You don't have to actually remove it, just mm -hmm. like a regular cabinet. Mm -hmm. But you can, if you choose to. Very, very cool, man. And, you, and um, you know, we've got James back there hanging. He's got a great guitar. He wants, why don't we hear a little bit out of this uh, integral mic uh, coming in the Hermit Cab? We're gonna Go shut ahead. this uh, so it's not too loud. Sounds good. You know, although, you know, NAMM show, we like it loud. I'm just we'll, saying. We'll, we'll do both. How about that? We'll yeah, the noise police don't, though. <laughs> yeah. I do, not, I do not speak for the sound police, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. in general. Whatever. Well, James, they come, they come take it away, my friend. <laughs> internal mic or mics in the room, but uh, that's yeah. something you guys can figure out. <laughs> that, that's, that's really awesome, man. Like I said, that's, that's completely innovative. And then how did your partnership with Hermit Cab, uh, Hermit Cab uh, come, uh, well, come into play? Well, my very good friend Lars behind us, he, uh, he deals with all our, our media and, and uh, promo stuff. Uh, What's up, Lars? How you doing, man? Welcome to the show. Yeah, there he is. He just he just get waves. He's like, he's like, I'm far oh, too there. important to talk to you peasants. Let's, let's just wrap this shit up. Come just, on. Just handle it. Yeah. Oh, talking to the mic. There you go. Oh, he's got talking to the mic now. Go, Lars. Go. go. Uh, well, Richard came to me about five, six years ago now. It must have been with this thing made, made, out, of, made out of cardboard. Sorry, I'm not close enough to the mic. Came to me about six years ago with this little device made out of a cereal packet. Try that, he said. Well, I said, if you can get that to fruition, get it made professionally, which he has done, you've got something here. And we, four years road testing, all did it properly, all the ins and outs were sorted out, nuts and bolts, as they say. Nice. And I thought, right, you're ready now. I did a press release, sent it to all the magazines. Fantastic. And they were, yeah, well. Everybody, they don't believe you. Everybody was dubious, but they were interested in this there integral you go. mic. And, it's been all over the place, and they're giving it 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, guitarist choice or that. 
it's I tell you, it's, it's tremendously uh, you know innovative you know thought. Yeah. You see all that you, know, you see stuff like that you know only at the Nam show, right? You see uh, you, know, yeah. you know folks like yourself that are you know breaking down the walls. It's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, and and you can have the monitors at the front of the stage exactly the same sound as you've got behind you. You just plug in, no messing around. And the front of the house PA is exactly the same as your same as your what's coming out behind. Excellent. That's really cool. Don't well, know, you know, my show is all about uh, you know the fabulously entertaining subject of marketing and branding. So we could talk. We could talk about that. Is this your first time exhibiting at the big show? Uh, no. This I was just going to tell you a little bit more of the story because um, we were had a, our own booth here last year. Okay. So, so 2018 NAB show, and uh, and that's how we met Woody because he came by and said, hey, "What's that? Yeah. What is that? That would work good in this. Yeah. That would and, work uh, great in this. And then, yeah. And so we've been sort of talking." Probably for the last 12 months, easily, I guess. Basically, yeah. You know, and, then, and stuff happens, and all of a sudden, it's a year gone. Oh, we got the next show. So we, we, we got together and said, look, how about combining? Because you need a product to demonstrate our product. Awesome. So that the combination of the two, I think, has worked really, really well. It's yeah. so cool, all those partnerships. Real people find yeah. business love at the NAM show. You know, you, yeah. find, you find your partners. It's, it's, it's very exciting. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Absolutely. And you guys have been tearing it up ever since. So, uh, what, so what has been the response at this show so far for the uh, for the uh, integral uh, mic? It's pretty amazing. I mean, one, one of the reasons why why we you know we come back. First of all, you know, if you the very first show that you do with a, a totally innovative product, um, people go, yeah, yeah. Let's it's, let's see if it's uh, got any legs, you know. Yeah. And and so you've got to keep coming back to the shows that. People then realise actually this is a serious thing here, and uh, yeah. and stuff. But more importantly, because of the nature of the thing, and you can't see it, you can talk about it till you're blue in the face. But you right. have to have a show to demonstrate it and hear it. Once people hear it, they go, "Oh, got it, yeah." Got and, it. Got and so it. that's that's what we've been doing. So we've been building. Uh, now, the, the product for the are you are you having more conversations with? Uh, I imagine you'd have conversations with amp manufacturers at some point too to do some OEM type of stuff. Yeah, inside yeah. the cabinets. Well, uh, exactly. us, I mean, like obviously, Herman yeah, Cab yeah, 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 as yeah, being yeah. one of those. It's yeah, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, so I mean, we're always having those conversations because there's there's basically two routes to market. One is that you're selling the product to a, a player, um, and he retrofits it. Yeah. But ideally, you know, you want to be getting it with the with the manufacturers, and they put it in the factory when they build the amp. Does make sense, kind of an yeah. Intel inside thing. Yeah. And Woody, tell me about Hermit Cab, and, and tell me about uh, you know what what you you know exactly what you guys are trying to accomplish at the show. Well, the show and is just in general. It's an educational process. Yeah, we've been coming on and off for for a while. I think we've actually showed up here 11 years ago, with wow. absolutely knowing nothing about what we were doing, and little by little we we came up with a product that. Uh, got better and better and better every year, and uh, with a lot of help with other people who loved it and bought it, all the way from bands like Guns N' Roses, all the way to guys who just like uh, to play clubs and want to bring large amplifiers, 100 watt amplifiers that they could never use. They've been going down to these smaller and smaller amps. Suddenly they can play the amps they love at a live venue and not be yelled at, and, you know, and actually have a, a great sound and, and a fantastic response. That's cool, cool. And just so, because so people uh, can, you know, kind of understand it. Well, w just just explain kind of what Hermit Cab's trying to do. Well, it's just so we got that. It's a cabinet that originally was designed to be isolating the sound for everybody else, but morphed into a cabinet that allows you to control your sound from all the way from like complete isolation to how the sound is affected in the room. Meaning you can open the door up, get your sound out like you would a, a regular basic conventional cabinet, but then the back door has actually a rear door, yeah. you can tune it to your response. You also, if you're very loud, keep, keep playing. No. And then you can turn, open the door just enough for yourself to hear yourself clearly and with a lot of volume, but none of the sound goes forward. Nice. No one's complaining. Sound man doesn't even know you're there. And you're louder than you're used to being with a regular smaller amp. Nice. So it, 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 there's a really important thing is that when the sound hits the front panel, yeah. it diffuses all the frequency of the speaker 180 degrees out. So you get this other sound that you don't get from a regular speaker until it hits the surface and bounces off because it's happening in the cabinet. Now, do you allow the other band members to come and close the guitar, guitar has, player's cabinet has, to, to their liking? It's been known to happen. Yes, but if you slam it shut, then they, they can't There's really play a 45 with stuff, Magnum so. by there, say. Because I, because I, I mean, I could see other band members saying, 
could we fund your hermit cab because we don't want to hear your loud well, that's, ass guitar? That's the interesting thing is that it's yeah. it's up like they don't they don't hear the direct sound. They just hear you full and fat, and they don't complain usually. There's actually a problem with you're not mm -hmm. loud enough, even though you're where you're standing five or six feet in front, you're louder than you've ever been, and hey, no one's complaining. This is this is magnificent. I can I can play the way I want, and no one complains. That's really, really cool. And so what do you guys find, uh, you know, just real quick on marketing, what's the most effective type of marketing that you guys, uh, you know, find in your businesses? Uh, yeah, well, rep, reps and, and stores, but the interesting... Ooh, where are the reps? The reps. Not just because there's a million of them looking at us either. Go ahead. Well, it's, the funny thing about this is I, I have my first sale was to Guns N' Roses, but no one saw them because they were off the stage. So if you, <laughs> because they're they're hermit cabs, they were they're, they were off the stage. So it didn't help me at all with audience. You know, you pick a guitar on stage, everybody you know, and Slash plays it or Richard Fortas plays it. Sure. Everybody wants one of those guitars. So it awesome. doesn't it didn't really help, but it was a way to go. Well, look, they're using yeah. it. So you have to like talk to people, get the reps involved, and just use that as your point. Yeah. There's okay. no there's no shortcuts, are there? Well, they're not going to use yeah. it unless they like it, because they can use whatever they want, right? Mm -hmm. So, Richard, well, how about you? Well, we've we've had a very very, very sort of similar um, experience with that, and uh, but it keeps coming back every time that you have to hear it to get it, and so right. um, and unless you've got a huge, great big wad of money to spend on endless shows to you know put it around advertising and stuff. The, the best way that we've found so far is social media. Social media, uh, and okay. Beca because you can do little video clips, you can get the visual, you can get the sound, Absolutely. you can get the excitement, you know, you can, you can get all that at the same time. So that's, that's where we're pushing hard. It, it's an educational yeah. process yeah, yeah. if it's a, something that no one else is making. So you have to go, they yeah. haven't seen it before, so they don't know that it exists. Once they know it, then they go, oh, well, what, does it work? Yeah, yeah. it works. Yeah. Oh, great, I'm yeah. going to get one. Hey. You should get one, and then that's it starts the process. Yeah, I mean, back, back in the UK, which is uh, where we're based, um, we we got one of the guys on the team. He's 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 only 19, but I have to say he's like the 59 because he's got such a, a really yeah. solid head on his shoulders. You know what I mean? <laughs> nice. He's a great guy, and um, but basically he's on it every day, and he's taken us from pretty much nothing to tens of thousands of of people that are liking like it and now what's happened is we've we sort of fine-tuning we're actually going to push that social media and we've been working with tino on on, on that point as well and uh so yeah. now now we're finding that we're popping up in south america and puerto rico and <laughs> all these other places that we never even thought of before but hey here we go that's the power of the internet you know. Well, that's exciting, and yeah, yeah. you guys are two examples of, of really cool companies, you know, here at the NAMM show, mm -hmm. you know, coming together, doing cool things for musicians out there. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you for, uh, for being on the show, being with InterTalk today. Mm -hmm. It's been great having you guys. James, yep. thanks for rocking out with us today. Yeah. Appreciate you being here. Can we give him a chance to... Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, tell us where we can find out more about these companies, too. Tell us where we can find more about Herm Hermit. Well, uh, the Internet, of course, uh, would be Facebook, um, uh, Instagram, website... There'll be some other websites, uh, um, distributors, and reps will be, ha will be showing up on theirs. Nice. And uh, where do so, we find them? Where so, we uh, whilst we're based in the in the UK, of course, internet's the place to go. So it's um, integral. Uk. Com. There you go. Uh, Hermitcab. Com. Yeah. So. Hermitcab. Com. Yeah. All right. You guys heard it. We're, uh, we're going to sign off now, right now, for InterTalk and Caffeine TV. Thanks very much for being with us My today. Pleasure. You guys enjoy the rest of the NAMM show. Well, this is Scott Robertson from May the Best Brand Win, right from the NAMM show. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.